for trying to condemn him. And you wonder why men are in a, in a messed up spirit. Got, me, got men on the phone to you. Oh, you you're bugging. You're, bu no, you're, you're bugging. You're bugging. You can see that by certain men's countenance. Certain men, they go missing. A dis a men are teaching this truth in a deceiving spirit. If you can't see it, I don't know what to tell you. And I said, yeah, some of you are going to get offended, but I said this, this lesson was going to be raw. It has to be. Sometimes you have to come raw. I'm talking about, I'm talking about in Great Millstone. Forget about all the other camps right now. IUIC, GOC. I'm talking about Great Millstone. And don't think for one minute because you're in a Great Millstone camp. That's it. I've got a ticket in them chariots. Because what I'm seeing, most men in Great Millstone are, de are, de are deceptive. There's only a few, a few men that are sincere. A few. One man out of a camp, Yahweh Shai just needs. One or two men out of a camp. The rest just may be destroyed. Because the world has overtaken them. They can't do videos unless it's, unless it's slandering somebody else. And you may say, well, this video, is it a now, it's not a slander. It's showing you what's going on right now in this time. And that's why you have separating his men. So bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. This is Ecclesiastes 40, just flying with the spirit and nine. Death and bloodshed, strife and sword and calamities, famine, tribulation and scourge. And all these things are coming and we're seeing this. You've got people dying from these floods in Germany, Turkey and so forth. You've got people dying. And the tribulation and scourge, these things are created for the wicked. So Yahushua says these things are created for the wicked so the hopeful like those that are doing this work we're not supposed to be in that spirit of ah oh, what are we going to do the script says these things are created for the wicked so if you're a wicked man in this truth because you have those again there's a difference between those that are going to have um shortcomings in the flesh and those that are wicked that are in this truth that are wicked so these things are created for the wicked so if you know you've been doing everything you can for your habashai then you shouldn't be worried about these things to come Okay, are the elect, are the hopeful elect, are we going to be nervous? Yeah, we're going to be somewhat nervous. Yes, but we're still going to have the, what, the inner confidence. Okay. These things are created for the wicked. And for their sakes came the flood. Just like in a time of what? Noah. Okay. They were what? Wiped out. All right. Verse 11, all things that are, of, are, that are of the earth shall turn to the earth again. Because what? We came of the earth and all things are going to return back to the earth again, the natural elements. All right? Bear me just a minute. And that which is of the waters doth return into the sea. Because we're made of waters as well. We came from the waters. It tells you in Genesis. Okay? All bribery and injustice shall be blotted out. And then even that, even that's within the truth. In, even in Great Millstone. A lot of bribery. Okay. A lot of wicked men being bigged up. Getting that shout out. A lot of things are going on. A lot of bribery. And bribery is what? Payoffs. To keep your mouth closed. Me, I don't deal with that. I don't deal with bribery. Uh, keep your mouth closed. Keep your mouth closed. No, I don't deal with that. Okay, if you're going to deal with the truth, deal with all the truth. Don't deal with half of the truth. Alright? And all that's going to be blotted out and injustice. Blotted out, but true dealing shall endure forever. So that's what's going to be in the true dealings. This is how corrupt this place is. Even amongst the truth that we're in, true dealings are not going on. Okay? The goods of the unjust shall be dried up like a river. Excuse me. The goods of the unjust shall be dried up as a river. And yeah, that's true. Okay. 
The goods of the unjust are going to be dried up. Bear me just a minute. They're going to be burnt up. All right? All the goods of this society are going to be dried up like a river. All right. All the goods shall be dried up like a river and shall vanish with noise like a great thunder in the rain. While he open his hand, he shall rejoice. Social transgressions, transgressions come to naught. For us, as the hopeful elect, we're hoping that all of our transgressions are what? Done away with. All right? The children of the ungodly shall not bring forth many branches, but are as unclean roots upon a hard rock. Okay. So we're done with that. So again, those that have been doing what they're supposed to be doing, they have nothing to be worried about. Because they have that confidence in Yahweh Shai. You even got men that will mock at the idea of having having um confidence as well. Okay? Why? Because they don't have confidence in Yahweh Shai. They have confidence in the world. Alright? A lot of men, their confidence is in the world. And you've had a lot of I want to say this as well, you have a lot of men that the elder apostles of Great Millstone have bigged up and they turn out to be wicked, they turn out to be demons, so that doesn't matter, just because the elder apostles big you up, okay, it doesn't mean you're a righteous man at all, because it's about Yahweh who he justifies, who he has favour in, alright, Proverbs 24, be not envious against evil men, so when you see evil men getting up to mischief, you're not supposed to be envious at it. Because that means you're not very really wise. You're envious at what? A wicked man. Right? You're not supposed to be envious at that. Okay? Neither desire to be with them. So you don't desire to be with them. Okay? Because you know what their end is going to be. Okay? And again, we're not out here looking, oh, looking for friends. You know, looking for genuine friends. Man, get the fuck out of here with that weak stuff. Get out of here with that weak stuff. It's the law that separates. Remember, separation means elevation. Because you, be, you may be among so-called friends, but the same men you're amongst, they're deceitful. They're going to switch on you. Especially if they're, they're of the world. The same men that you, you may be teaching with, they're going to be the first ones to hand you in. Because they're deceitful. And so much for genuine friends. But you gotta forgive our people for they don't know what they do, they don't know what they say. Verse 2. Because I am watching, I'm, I'm you watch what spirit men are in, and they're in a deceitful spirit. Verse 2, for their heart study of destruction. And this is really speaking about Esau, and you can equate this to our people as well, but this is really speaking about Esau. And part of study and destruction is what? Them ICBM missiles, that molecular structure, breaking it up. So now you have what the atom. Okay, opening up the atom, which what creates that explosion, that nuclear fusion. Okay, their lips talk of mischief. So Esau, Esau's lips, heavy winds. Esau's lips are always on mischief, continually. All right, this man can't get to sleep until he's done some mischief. There's a scripture on that as well. His lips talk of mischief. What's mischief? Naughtiness, guile, wickedness. And the scripture says, blessed is that man whose spirit is no guile. Blessed is that man. Through wisdom. Let's jump straight to verse 8. He that devises to do evil. So he that plans, you're devising, you're planning to do evil, shall be called a mischievous man. So if you're planning, to do evil wickedness, to try and overthrow a man, you shall be called a mischievous person. Okay? And type in that word, just type in, sometimes you've got to type in particular words. Type in mischievous look and you see the look you have. You know? Beady eyes, scheming. So you're devising to do what evil, you're going to be called what? A mischievous 
person sneaking. Okay, a plotter, a schemer. Okay, and you can also equate this to our own people. The thought of foolishness is sin. Don't you know even the thought of foolishness is sin? Even the thought of it. That's why we need new bodies. That's where the new covenant's going to come in. And the scorner is an abomination unto men. And one thing you notice, if someone can't really um, understand this truth, they're turning to a scorner because they can't understand it. So what's the, what's the last result? To scorn. You'd think a man would pray, pray for more understanding, but no. A man would what? Turning to a scorner because he doesn't understand. And he's mad at you because you have to open up your mind to the truth. So he becomes a scorner. That's why you got to count a blessing that we have the truth and that we've got to hold on to it. Be grateful because a lot of men are not grateful for the truth. They're not grateful. Always be grateful every single day. Verse 10, main point. If thou faint in a day of adversity, thy strength is small. So if you faint in a day of adversity, that just means your strength is small. That just means you never really had the faith to begin with in a day of adversity. And that day of adversity is approaching Jacob's trouble, martial law, half I'd eat it. So if you faint in that day of trouble, that means your strength was small. It was never really strong. It was never really built up. All right? He wants his men to have faith. He wants his men to have faith. Bear me just a minute. Don't know if I'll be able to find it because I did I didn't highlight a particular scripture. Let's see if I can find it. Bear me just a minute. Bear me just a minute. Okay, that's a good one right there. Confidence in the most high. Yes. That wasn't quite the one, but it's still that's still spot on. Bear me just a minute. That's still spot on. A lot of good scriptures here. Bear me just a minute. There's a lot of good stuff. Bear me just a minute. Okay. Yes. Job 4. Then Eliphaz the Temanite answered and said, If we are say to commune with thee. Okay. And this one, Job, you know, you know, you should know the story, you brothers and sisters. You should know the story of Prophet Job. He was catching hell family died okay plagued with boils servants died were taken out you know all these different things satan was messing with him so this is what this truth is about it's a test he still was holding his integrity but this is what his friends were saying to him would i be grieved but who can withhold himself from speaking so he had these friends that were coming to him. Some of them gave him good words. Some of them gave him harsh words. So it's the same in his truth. You've got to understand when you're going through things, not everybody's going to truly understand what you're going through. It's not that it's you. It's not a pity party. But not everybody's going to really understand. And especially if you're carnal, especially if you're of this world, especially if you ain't got the spirit, you're not going to understand. There's going to be certain men, but certain men are going to give you hard words. Okay? Foolish words. But who can withhold himself from speaking? Behold, that has instructed many and that has strengthened the weak hands. All right? So this is what Job was doing. There was a point of time where he was strengthening others. <laughs> that words have upheld him, him that, that was fallen, falling and that has strengthened the feeble knees. So Job was a helper to others prior to him being in that bad condition. But now it has come unto thee. And this is what you see. This is what you see in the truth. I've seen this so many times and I'm still seeing it. Okay. Okay. But now it has come unto thee and thou faintest. It toucheth thee and thou art troubled. So, the, what, the worst case scenario is you're telling others what to do. Keep the faith. Stay strong. Keep the faith. Prepare thyself for temptation. And these other individuals, when that scenario comes upon them they're not exhibiting that faith they're fainting so what does that show they're not really strong they're just saying but they're not really doing they're not really laying these words to heart and 
I've been there, I've been there a few times, and it makes you, after, it makes you look silly because you could be doing a video, stay strong, then affliction comes your way a, a couple days later, and you just, you just, you tap out. You're nowhere to be seen. Yahweh is not looking for that. See, that's hypocrisy as well. But it's going to happen. But that's where you have to you have to check, examine thyself when that's happening. And it touches thee and thou art trouble. So now you're troubled. Hold on a minute. You were telling others what to do. You were building up others. But now it touches you, you're troubled. That's where applying comes into play. Applying. And over time, you kind of, you get used to it. You... You don't get so comfortable, you know, all right, nothing's happening now, but there's going to be a test, there's going to be a trial, there's going to be some type of, of, of affliction. So you always prepare yourself. Constantly when you're going to be in this truth, you're going to be tried, constantly. Excuse me. Verse 6, it's not this thy fear, thy confidence. Okay, so he's trying to say, it's not this thy fear, it's not your show your fear, it's not your show your confidence, which we speak of. See, it's one thing to speak and see, you could be out here teaching the words. You're going to be. Do you think you're just going to teach the word, cuss out Esau, say this and that, and that's going to be it? No, Satan's going to be on you. You're you're, you're going to be a target. Don't just think you're just going to be you're able to teach this word and everything's going to be fine. And no. Thy hope and the uprightness of thy ways. So that's why you got to what show faith show character when these things come upon us and that's what the hopeful elect are going to do they're going to show that faith they're going to show that character we're nearly on an hour okay so we're going to shut off but that's what the hopeful elect are going to do okay so keep keep the faith keep the faith keep trusting Yahweh Shai and un until the next time Shalom to the hopeful elect across the globe Shalom